Wow, frightening expose from Chris Rufo. Uh, apparently, the Texas Children's Hospital has been uh, performing child sex changes a year after they said that they would stop. Now, to me, I would think it would be already be a scandal that Texas Children's Hospital, which according to Rufo, is the largest children's hospital in America. I didn't know that. Um, that they were performing child sex changes at all. <laughs> I mean, how is that not a scandal at any hospital? I mean, uh, what was it? Wasn't it, um, was it Boston Children's Hospital or, or Boston something up in Boston? There was a hospital performing child sex changes and they denied it. And they said, oh, no, we, were, we, we never did that. No, 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 we didn't do that. And of course it was true. Um, but uh, apparently Texas Children's Hospital said, yeah, we, we're doing it, but we're going to stop now. And then they never actually stopped. They just publicly said, we're going to stop doing that. I honestly, this is, I think, the most bizarre aspect of the modern culture war. Something that is so wrong on a basic level that anyone five to ten years ago, anyone, no matter who they were, 100% of the population, unless they were like a serial killer, would have understood, oh yeah, you know, we're not going to... Uh, we're not going to be castrating 10-year-olds or 11-year-olds or uh, even 17-year-olds. And yeah, it's, it actually would be – it's really weird to castrate, you know, an 18-year-old or a 30-year-old. But I guess if somebody's an adult, you know, and they want to do that, uh, that's up to them. Though I think 99.99% of the population would still have, you know, 5 to 10 years ago found that to be uh, pretty uh, horrific just to imagine. I remember when I was younger, um, CNN broadcast a documentary about someone who, uh, a, uh, a man who got a, a sex change surgery, and they, uh, you know, there was nothing, they didn't show anything graphic, but they did have like a, a video of it, you know, going on you know, in, the, in the operating room, and everyone was talking, you know, and the patient was awake. And I remember, you know, they said like, oh yes, that is not pleasant. Um, those words kind of stuck in my head for years, and it was a very, very disturbing um, documentary that CNN put out. But now we're just supposed to believe that this is such a common and routine thing and objectively good that they're just going to do it to do it to young kids. And apparently, um, they, they don't even necessarily like fully inform the parents. They just sort of go ahead, go ahead with it, um, you know and kind of skim over it and they and if the parents you know put up any resistance um you know it's not like they, they're going through this and they're going to the parents you know okay you you're totally okay with this and blah 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 you know you make sure that you're uh you have a fully informed consent um you know no they're they're pressuring them and saying if you don't do this your kid's going to commit suicide so you snip snip time you know, I, honestly, it's a lot of people, a lot of times on the left, you know, I can kind of rationalize even ridiculous behavior. I can rationalize wokesters, you know, for the most part. I can rationalize people, you know, hating on the white man, hating on, um, you know, masculine straight men. I can rationalize that. I still don't think that it makes a lot of sense, but I can see where they're coming from on a very, you know, on a, a broadly speaking. But this, I don't understand. There is no, there is no reasonable, um, what's the right term, benevolent explanation for any of this. It's just demonic. That's the, it's the only word that you can use to describe this behavior to explain it. These are just people who crave the normalization of evil. There's not even a hint of humility, of self-reflection of uh, of these people thinking you know hey you know i think i'm doing the right thing but there's a chance that i'm not you know no they're completely self-assured they they do not you know when they're when they're cutting up a child and dismembering them it never occurs to them you know just like with the abortionists you know they never have a moment of reflection in any of these interviews and any of these um you know candid moments that you catch them in you never hear them say you know, sometimes I, I, I have trouble sleeping at night because I wonder, am I really doing the right thing? Because there's a chance that I'm not and that I'm just, you know, mutilating children um, who will then, you know, spend the rest of their lives, you know, without a functioning body. They never ask themselves that. 
it's all they're all they're just so self assured. I mean they're they're it's like they're possessed. I don't I don't know how else to say it. I'm not a religious person. I uh, don't go to churches mostly because I, I don't think that there are a lot of churches that are very serious. I'm you know if if I thought that we lived in an age in which churches were a serious institution, um, I probably would have some interest uh, in religion. Um, but most churches, whether they be Protestant or Catholic, um, which is the predominance here in the United States, uh, they appease this stuff. They're constantly trying to triangulate. They're trying to find common ground with these people. There is no common ground with any of this. This is the enemy. These, this is, these are the people, these, or these are the, the forces from the bad place um, coming into our world and creating mischief and committing evil. This isn't just, you know, a handful of bad apples. Sure, individual evil people exist, you know, lone wolf, serial killers, uh, you know, rapists, murderers. But these people exist. They always have. They always will. There are always some folks who just go off the deep end. Um, but this is institutionalized. This is the entire university system. This is the entire medical establishment. This is the entirety of the professional class in America. Everyone who is highly educated, or at least a, a, uh, a plurality, nay, a supermajority of the highly educated in America all buy into this. This is what it looks like when a society goes off the deep end. Um, we saw it in Nazi Germany where the, the learned intellectuals <clears throat> were all on board uh, with the Nazi project of you know, creating the master race. Those who couldn't get on board were purged, but a lot of people who were normal, who uh, in normal times would have lived normal lives, um, just bought in to uh, to the evil of their time. And so I don't know if that's just an example of people being sheepish or, or, or sheepish, that's the wrong term, uh, sheep-like, easily led, or if it's um, them exposing their true colors. I think that for, let's say, your average lib, who doesn't think very much, you can explain them as just sheep. But for the doctors, for the social workers, for the college professors, these people are not sheep. They can think for themselves, and they do think for themselves. They've chosen a side in what can only be described as a supernatural battle. And they've thrown in with the forces of darkness. Please offer me any reasonable um, uh, terrestrial explanation. I'm all ears. This is my last resort. I mean, I, I've, I've tried to reason through this. Um, it doesn't make sense. This isn't compassion. This isn't bleeding heart liberals. Unfortunately, if you've got kids, um, just hiding them these days, that's not going to do you any good. You can try as you might to hide your kids, but these people will find them and they will poison their minds. You have to fortify your kids. Um, you have to teach them to live in reality um, and to accept who they really are. And you have to teach them what evil looks like. And the good news is, I think that the forces of evil have a much more difficult time. You see, they've been working behind the scenes to normalize these things for so long we're just now seeing it we're having to play catch up as good people but they had a much tougher task they had to take what on a visceral level human beings understand to be wrong and barbaric it's the butchering of our youth people have to be convinced to tolerate that and so if you let your kids know ahead of time, if you raise them in, uh, to understand that there are evil forces in this world and that there are going to be other people who try to get them to accept um, the unthinkable, 
then they'll be more prepared. That doesn't mean that they will be invincible, but at least they'll have a fighting chance. To just let your kids grow up without a care in the world and then to, set, God forbid, send them off to public school or even private school, most of which are probably just as bad um, as far as this is concerned, um, you are sending them into the lion's den. There are people everywhere trying to prey on them, to turn them against you, to turn them against themselves. So, with that said, I will see you folks back here tomorrow, and hopefully I'll have something a little less dire and um, apocalyptic to discuss.